So what is actually vitamin D deficiency? See in fact vitamin D is a common vitamin which is being produced by our body by regular exposure to sunlight and proper exercises and an active daily life. And this vitamin D is actually present in lot of foods like fish, fish liver oil, milk, eggs and fortified dairy products and grains. But due to our sedentary lifestyle and altered habits, this vitamin D is not properly being absorbed into your body. So, uh, what are the things we can usually do to reduce this activity? Because this vitamin D is not only important for the skeletal muscular system, it is also very important for the cardiovascular system. It is uh, also important for our cognitive improvement. In fact, a lot of recent researchers say that it prevents asthma, it reduces the chance of getting cancer, it is also useful in preventing diabetes uh, mellitus type 1 and type 2 diabetes mellitus, hypertension and lot of other comorbid conditions. So it is being a very very important part of our life. So what should we do? The important things we should do are a proper diet. The fancy diets like vegan diet and specific uh, diets for reducing weight and all as a real threat to our vitamin, uh, in causing this vitamin D deficiency. So a proper balanced diet with fish, fish liver oil, then uh, milk, eggs, vegetarians can have fortified grains, fortified dairy products. So a proper advice from a dietitian and a doctor regarding a proper diet is very, very important. And the next thing is sedentary lifestyle. We should come away from the sedentary lifestyle, spending a lot of time in front of mobile, TV, computer and all and should have a proper routine workup and a lot of activities. And proper exposure to sunlight is the most important thing. A regular walking in the morning and evening in the sun is very good for vitamin D um, I mean production. Then people like obese people, people with a kidney failure, people of old age and very small age groups, people with dark skin, all these people are likely to develop vitamin D deficiency very easily for different reasons. So these people should be very careful in following a proper diet, routine exercises and if they really find the difficulties with the vitamin D symptoms, they should consult a doctor. They should uh, uh, take his advice properly and get treated nicely. So what are the symptoms this vitamin D deficiency produces? Usually the symptoms are totally non-specific. They produce a lot of joint pains, a lot of muscle pains and totally unrelated symptoms, if vague symptoms. If the patients develop all these vague symptoms, they should definitely consult the doctor immediately. And the doctor, after assessing you properly, will do a blood test and find out your vitamin D levels. And according to your age, your type of profession, your type of activities and daily activities of life and all, he'll prescribe a prevention treatment or a therapeutic treatment for you. So to be, as a conclusion, Vitamin D deficiency is not a simple problem. It is uh, rising to pandemic proportions nowadays. It is very, very important to prevent vitamin D deficiency at the first instance. And uh, as a definitive treatment, the deficiency, if it is identified, it should be properly treated with the proper food, regular routine exercises, exposure to sunlight. And if there is an underlying cause, real cause for vitamin D deficiency like kidney failure or malabsorption syndromes, those should be properly treated. Hope all of you have understood what I was trying to convey to you. Hope you will modify all your activities and have a proper diet and proper activities to prevent as well as treat your vitamin deficiency, D deficiency. Thank you all.